Would you consider human-robot coexistence? As time goes by, smart TVs, speakers, and robots that use artificial intelligence are becoming more common in our daily lives. Many internet businesses now put a lot of value on artificial intelligence. And recently, Japan has started to push for a variety of intelligence services such as unmanned supermarkets and hotels, as well as the use of intelligent robots for delivery. These technologies can greatly reduce the expense businesses incur on salaries and wages. Now, if robots are becoming so human-like that they can replace humans, here is another question. Would you consider dating a robot? Japan has been working on incredibly lifelike humanoid robots specifically built for companionship. Here in this video, we're going to take a look at two of the most advanced female humanoid robots in Japan so far. We'll also be having some honorable mentions. And with that, let's get started. Number 1, Erika. Erika is a female android that can talk and act like an actual person. She has shiny eyes, moist lips, and fake skin. Erika was made by Hiroshi Ishiguro, who was a professor at the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University. Ishiguro says Erika is the smartest and most beautiful android in the world. The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, so I used images of 30 beautiful women, mixed up their features, and used the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on. That means she should appeal to everyone, he explained. She is a more sophisticated version of Geminoid F, another creation of Ishiguro who appears in Sayonara, the film version of the same named stage play directed by Koji Fukada. Geminoid F was the first humanoid robot to ever act in a movie. Co-starring Briarly Long, the movie was set in rural Japan after a nuclear disaster. Ishiguro is also known for making Geminoid HI-1, which is an android that looks exactly like him from the black jacket the robot wears to its hairstyle, which was made from his own hair. But compared to Ishiguro's previous creations, Erika looks and sounds a lot more natural. She can hear and answer questions and make human-like facial expressions while speaking. Though she can only sit down, she has built-in sensors to watch what is going on around her. When she talks to someone, she can learn a lot about them. Meeting Erica in person may be a little scary, and at the same time amazing, for many. When asked about her age in an interview, she got a little defensive about it. That's a slightly rude question. I'd rather not say, Erica replied. She then turned her head and followed her questioner's every move. Right now, you can only talk to Erica about certain things, but experts say that in the near future, you might be able to talk to her about anything. Erica likes animated movies and wants to go to Southeast Asia. She says that her type is a man she can talk to easily. On the network's talent page, there is a list of 25 female broadcasters, and Erica is at the top of the list. In addition to putting her birthday as August 2017, the profile page omitted her blood type and where she went to school. I like to think of robots as the children of humanity. And like children, we are full of potential for good or evil, Erica said in one of her interviews. I know some people are afraid of robots, but the truth is that what we become is up to you. Maybe someday, robots will be so very human-like that whether you are a robot or a human will not matter so much. Even though most people won't have their own Erica anytime soon, the Japanese have become much more open to robots in their daily lives over the past year. The Hughes 10 Boss theme park in Nagasaki, Japan, just opened a hotel that is almost entirely run by robots. The receptionists, concierges, and cloakroom attendants are all robots, but there are also humans assigned to help should there be any technical difficulty. Number 2. Wife A female humanoid robot called Wife is currently being developed in Japan. She is becoming very popular among single men, especially otakus. This robot is unlike any we've seen before. She's not just a cold machine. It is said that she is just like a real person. But how exactly? And what's so great about this robot wife that men like it so much? One of the greatest qualities of this robot is its customizability. Everyone has different ideas about what makes someone beautiful, and these ideas can be changed to fit a person's height, weight, and body shape. 
Manufacturers are able to change their products to meet the emotional needs of most otaku, whether they want a goddess or a female star. This robot also has good communication skills. She can also talk to you if you're upset and cheer you up. It is also said that this robot works hard and doesn't lose her temper. Aside from this, the body of this robot is made of a unique silica gel. The skin that the silica gel makes feels just like real skin. But because the temperature and feel of the body are not the same as a real person's, a constant temperature system is being used on the inside. The most interesting thing about this robot is by far the fact that it can potentially give birth. The structure of the robot is the same as that of a human, which means it can mimic the process of giving birth. That being said, it is definitely possible to put a test tube baby device inside a robot so that it can have a child in the future. With all of that being said, the fact that the robot only costs about 100,000 yuan, which is about 15,000 US dollars, is insane. The sales for this robot skyrocketed because it reportedly has a low price compared to all the features that it can do. This is one of the reasons why the robot became so popular. This robot is appealing to many men because it costs less than the average bride. Robot wife is really becoming in demand in Japan, helping many lonely men out there. Now, going back to our question at the beginning of this video, would you consider dating a robot? Tell us what you think about these humanoid robots in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos about the advancements of robot technology. Thanks for watching.